Alan Zofia. Oh, uh, uh, no, no knocking, no, nothing. What? What's what again? All right. Hmm. Talking about fitness, huh? Uh, whatever. Huh? Oh, do you like fitness? Hmm. Nice moves. It appears to me that students who take remote classes sit down for long periods of time. Now, I think if you get up and stretch, the blood will flow and your energy will come back. But let me take a look at my sources real quick. Oh, scientists have concluded a study that if you do indeed stand up and stretch, your blood flow will run and energy will come. We done? Okay. Let's see what Ellen Zofia were about to do. Okay. Can, can you cut the cameras and leave? Good morning, Warriors. I'm Jacob Budd. I'm Aiden Chapman. Welcome to WNN. First up on our list of fantastic clips for you today, we have announcements. What? Need to make up credits? Want to get back on track for graduation? Sign up for Summer Academies. The registration can be found on the Westwood homepage. If you have any questions, email Ms. Long at rlblong at mpsaz.org. in your day. Everyone feels down this time of year, and focusing on your grades can be very stressful too. Make sure you relieve some of that stress by buying a yearbook. Pre-order on jawsons.com for $79. Seniors, remember to vote on senior nominations. Please fill out the form on the Canvas homepage. Keep celebrating Earth Day every day with these tips from Earth Club. Consumerism, products to avoid, and alternatives. Don't buy confetti. Use flower petals or cut leaves into shapes for natural confetti. Instead of buying bottles, shampoo, and body wash, consider buying shampoo and body wash in bars. Instead of consuming paper napkins, use cloth napkins. Stop using plastic water bottles. Buy reusable bottles instead of plastic. Avoid plastic grocery bags and use reusable ones. Tips for avoiding food waste. Keep track of the food that you already have so you avoid overbuying. You can save money too. Don't ignore imperfect or ugly fruits and vegetables. They're still useful. Pay attention to expiration dates on food items. Compost when you can so it doesn't end up in the landfill. Use leftovers wisely. You don't need to make or get new food every day. Store your food properly to ensure that they don't expire or go unused. Awesome, that was so cool. I have cooking and that's, just, I'm hungry. <laughs> Cake mix, oil, three eggs, butter, water, parchment paper, 12 inch nine inch pan, some measuring cups, uh, oven mitts, a uh, bowl, and a whisk. Ah! Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Hello. Nana. Open it up. Hi. Doesn't matter. Hi. Ignore. Eggs. Now you want measuring cups. So, a cup full of water, 
and a half cup for the oil. Are you okay, mister? Open your oil. Doesn't matter what kind of, it just has to be vegetable oil or, I don't know, I guess. Just pour it in there. Yes. Do I hold it? Boom. So, while it's being whisked, prepare your, your, your pan. Now, so, now I'm done whisking it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the one whisking it! So now that I'm done whisking it, I'm gonna pour it into the bowl. <laughs> now, you wait for about 35 minutes. With this lady. Put it up on yourself. You know, put your thing here. Alright, the cake's done. Get out of here. Hey yo, that was really, really great. Here's some, uh, here's, here's Mr. Mr. Dan himself with the movie review. I like movies. They're a fun time. They, they are. My name is Dan. Today I will review and try not to spoil a movie called Five Feet Apart. In this COVID time where people have to stay six feet apart, somewhat similarly, the story is about two teens with cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a lethal genetic disease that affects the lungs, digestive system, and basically it plucks up your tubes with thick fluids. Patient cannot breathe normally. Patients with different kinds of this disease had to stay six feet apart or it could get worse for them. A romance story with a well-developed plot along with an excellent cast. Five feet apart was rated 79% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. With a good use of music and not abusing, we almost could feel the character's feeling. If you're wondering why is it called five feet apart and not six feet apart, well, you have to find out yourself. Just as that was a speed drawing, we're speed running this hosting. Uh, here's a photo tutorial with Angel. So I want to take pictures in the dark, but they turned out like this. Awful garbage. Here I am to show you how you can turn this into this. And we ain't using the night mode button thing. And make sure you have a tripod. Make sure your manual settings are on. Your subject must be in focus. Then we're going to have our shutter speed up high. I'm putting mine on 30 because it's really dark in here. Here I put my ISO to around 600, 700, somewhere around there. And then you take the picture and wait around 30 seconds. Boom! Look at that! Here's another picture I took in auto mode. And then here's one with night mode. You can also take pictures of the stars. Here are the ones I took. It's another random clip! I don't know what it is! Neither do I! If you're looking for somewhere new to eat, we recommend Milano's Pizzeria, a cozy family-owned restaurant in Mesa. They offer Italian and Mediterranean dishes and have foods such as chicken wings, pitas, wraps, salads, sandwiches, pastas, calzones, and pizza. The environment you eat in is very cozy, offering light music or a live musician playing, and comfortable chairs or booths to sit in. We personally recommend getting the jalapeno raviolis. I think the pizza and pasta taste great and the salad dressing is very good. Wow, thank you so much for watching. And just stick around for the student council elections. That's going to be so much fun. I'm Aiden Chapman. I'm Jacob. Fear, Fear the Spear. spear. director of social events because that would be really cool and yeah I have no other reasons so goodbye
my name is Sara Cole and I'm running for Westwood's Spirit Commissioner. I want you all to vote for me because I will make your high school an experience fun and interesting. Hey guys, my name is Sarah Silverlow and here's what Westwood will look like next year if you vote me for Spirit Commissioner. student council sports director. I have experience, I've been doing student council since elementary school, and this year I was on the sports committee, so I helped out a lot with the big sports events like the sports assemblies. You guys should vote Kylie Kemsiel in for sports director. Thank you. This is a little message to a little award prize. Vote for am I even for me for senior class vice president. Hey guys, just vote me for a senior class president. Senior is the most <laughs> <laughs> Senior year is the most important year for us all, and I actually have a plan for it. So vote me for your senior class president, Alex Espinosa. This message was approved by Alexander Espinosa. Hey guys, don't think twice. Vote Julia Bornbrock for junior vice. As a student of Westwood High School, I enjoy school life. I always study, and the homework load is awesome. But when I'm not studying, I'm helping the community. If you vote for me, I promise a memorable experience. So vote Ramon Gastelum for junior class president. Hi, I'm Gabby, and I'm running for student council's junior class president, and here's why you should vote for I me. I was president twice in my life, once in sixth grade for Halloween, and I was student body president of my middle school. See, when life brought me down, I did get back up again, so go out and vote Gabby for president. <laughs> What's going on, Warriors? I'm Nia Mirada. I'm running for this year's upcoming junior class president. I hope I can count on your vote because unlike Michael Scott, I don't run away from my responsibilities and it still feels good. Hi, my name is Haley Dar, and I want to be your sophomore class representative. I am an honor student with straight A's and I've had experience with being in student council before. I will do my best to play my part in student council and I hope to help the school become a healthy and fun learning environment. If you vote for me, I will leave the school with warrior pride. Hi, my name is Valeria Villalos Munoza and I'm here to announce that I'm running for sophomore class representative. I am running for this position to be more connected with you guys and to be someone you guys could depend on for ideas to make our school more united. I want to help spread ideas and positivity between the year and the next. Hope you guys can come and see to depend on me for making the school more, our school more lively and connected. Let's go Warriors! Hello, my name is Melody Mancinas and I am running for a sophomore class president for the upcoming year. I would really appreciate for your vote. I hope you guys have an amazing day and remember, you guys are beautiful and unique in your own ways. Hello. 